Helene, um, I always say this is this is one of my favorite topics or questions about influencers because they sometimes come in a, in a second, one comment, right time, right place, whatever, or sometimes it's over a lifetime and we naturally have multiple influencers in our lives. Um, can you share two or three people that have been influential in your life? Sure. I, I would love to answer that question with actually a group of people um, yeah. because I... Uh, met some of my absolute best friends when I did my first triathlon, um, which was to benefit Le the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. And mm -hmm. we did the team and training program, which is this amazing program where you fundraise, but in exchange, you're taught the skills to do a triathlon. So I met um, two of these best friends at the information session for um, for the program. And it, it was almost magical because we didn't know each other and we were sitting next to each other and each one said, we have to do this. So we convinced each other to do the program. <laughs> um, so, and that was just the beginning. We, we did that together and this was, um, oh my goodness. It's like, it, it, it's at least 18 years ago now. And so the, the three of us were joined by one other who is a friend of one of the core group. And we are so like these, we influence each other in so many different ways because we're completely different people, but we, we help each other. We are sounding boards for each other's issues and we're just the best friends. And it's been made a remarkable change in my life. Things happen for a reason, right? Amazing. Anyone else you want to share about? Yes. Well, I think that um, obviously at early in my life, my parents played a big um, part in my development. And I, I have to call out my mother because she um, was so like empathetic, like she had such amazing EQ. And like she, she knew me so well, and and she often gave me advice that I wasn't ready for at the time. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and, and I look back on it, and I say she had such wisdom. And, and you know, it, from a young person's perspective, you don't always listen. But like I, to this day, like I just remember her advice in so many different arenas, and I find myself telling my children some of the same things that she told me. Yeah, my, I, I tell this story a lot when I speak, um, when I was about five or six, my grandfather took me on walks in the park in Montreal, and, um, um, and he has a little bit of an accent, he was from Kiev, my mom was Kiev and whatever, and um, and so one time I asked him, I'm Jewish, I said, Zeta, how do you know all these people? He said, I didn't know any of them, but I smiled at one, and then he smiled back, and then he started talking to me, and, on, and it went on, and I'm six, I'm saying, okay, that's cool, smile, and, but then you start learning more, like, well, that's actually pretty brilliant, you know, because if you smile at somebody, it actually opens them up at the minimum to smile back and they feel good and you feel good. So different type of influencers all over the place. So I think your mom was sharing the wisdom, knowing you'd you'd get it more and more every year after that. Mm -hmm. So way to go, mom and dad. You're good, too. Just because she highlighted your mom. You're good, too, dad. <laughs> yeah. Thanks so much for sharing that. You're welcome. Thanks for asking.